You've been watching the weekly wrap up from Dread Central. This has been Lisa Marie Carr and Michael Fallon. Here's the first image of the Stranger Things season two cast as production starts. A number of familiar faces and a few new ones appeared this week thanks to the series' official Twitter. On top of that announcement, additional casting details have been revealed that some other names attached to 80s nostalgia have joined. Sean Astin and Paul Reiser, nine new episodes will be hitting Netflix in 2017. After quite a bit of speculation, it turns out that An American Werewolf in London is getting a remake but without the cringe that comes with some other Hollywood rehashes. Max Landis, son of the original's director, John Landis, has penned the script, and The Walking Dead's David Alper and Robert Kirkman are producing the remake through their Skybound Entertainment for Universal Pictures. Entertainment Weekly has released the first trailer for Jackson Stewart's 80s throwback pick, Beyond the Gates. Horror hottie Barbara Crapton stars as the interdimensional villain who enters our world via a forgotten relic known as the VCR board game. Want to win a copy of Sean T. Page's Haynes Zombie Survival Manual? To imply, send an email to contests at dreadcentral.com. That's contests at dreadcentral.com, including your full name and postal address and the subject line Zombie Survival Manual. Did you miss this week's Brainwaves? Check out the replay on iTunes or the Deep Talk Radio Network. This week's guest was creature performer Douglas Tate, whose credits include Thor, Star Trek, and Freddy vs. Jason. It's a good week for retro horror. Jeremy Todd Moorhead's Easter Sunday now has an official trailer and a spring 2017 release date. Check out the trailer at Dread Central now or we'll fill your Easter basket with hate and spite. On the fence about Fede Alvarez's Don't Breathe, get over to Dread Central now and check out the 10-minute clip we've got. After you understandably get hooked, you can get the film digitally now or on Blu-ray and DVD on November 29th. The Mummy writer John Spade spoke with The Hollywood Reporter about the scope of the scares we'll see in the upcoming reboot. Spades teased that, in The Mummy, I think we're going to see the first Mummy film in the entire universal canning with the true power to terrify. The earliest Boris Korloff and Bela Lugosi Mummy movies were scary in a small way, perhaps a dated way. They were almost parlor movies. Subsequent movies have been more swashbuckling. This one is going to have all that action and adventure, but a legitimate power to terrify. I think that's going to be the new experience of that film. Winona Ryder was obviously missing from Funko's originally announced pop line we saw in October. Fear no more as Joyce has arrived complete with her interdimensional communication Christmas lights. Pinhead himself, Doug Bradley, put to rest what happened to the Pinhead vs. Michael Myers movie that hand-rumbled around in the dark recesses of Hollywood. Bradley stated to Your Movie Magazine that after the success of Freddy vs. Jason, Dimension wanted a Hellraiser Halloween movie made immediately. I had a couple of phone conversations with Clive Barker about it, and I was getting quietly excited. The version of events I got back on this is that the Eckhad brothers, who produced Halloween, retained control of the sequels and didn't want the crossover to be made. This has been Lisa Marie Cart for Jet Central's weekly wrap-up report. Tune in for next week's episode. I'm sorry.